Well, I'm definitely not getting this one. <laughs> All right, it looks like there's, oh, hang on a second. Looks like there's two. A smaller one and then a bigger one up above it. I think I've seen some birds going up there picking off some bees. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's got to be like 50 feet up. Ah, there's there's no getting that one. It's too bad. Well, I guess you get lucky every once in a while. So that big swarm that was way up there appears to have relocated on my Osage Orange. So um, the only problem is. I don't, those branches are so strong. I don't know if I'll be able to shake them into a box, but I sure as heck I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a box set up underneath this swarm uh, before they decide to move on again. All right, so we got another swarm here on the Osage orange tree. I think this is the one that was way up, 50 feet up in that maple tree over there. And they decided to nicely come down to a reasonable distance for me. So obviously I got a box ready here. I'm gonna try to shake these bees into the box this osage orange tree though is pretty stout so we'll see it we'll see if i can knock them off here and get them in and then i'll quickly put this uh cover on them i've been looking for the queen of course i don't see her but we'll give this a go this port's kind of in my way maybe i can grab it from here Big swarm. Alright, let's try to get the cover on here. Goodness gracious, lots of bees. <laughs> oh man. Well, that was fun. They're all fanning up here, so that's a good sign. Good Lord, that was a lot of bees. There's still plenty of them on that branch. It's just, it's hard to shake them off. stuck on there. Oh, and this one here is trying to sting me. Hear that or she's she's stuck. Okay. I thought this swarm could be a little more irritated because they've been out Again, if it was that huge one that was up there, uh, they've been outside for two days now. So they may be a little hungry, a little irritated. And hopefully happy to have a new home here. Let's see what happens. I'll bring you in up here so you can see. But yeah, they're a little grumpier. Okay. I 
got one grumpy on me right here. So it looks to me like they're marching in. Look at that. From what I can tell, the bees are marching inside. So that's a really good sign. See them marching towards the center there? <laughs> this colony is going to be packed. So I'm immediately going to give them a deep, another deep. Uh, I may, I may have it as a deep super, so they can start storing up there, and the queen can start laying in here if it's a mated queen. There are five drawn frames in this uh, in this box, and five undrawn frames of foundation. that small opening there. <laughs> Lots of bees. Good swarm. I knew that was a big swarm. All right, so we're gonna wait here for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Hopefully the bees settle down. <sighs> I'm going to keep trying to shake bees in there. I normally don't use a bee brush, but I may go grab my bee brush and try to brush those remaining bees off the tree. Usually a bee brush I find just pisses them off, but these bees are already a little grumpy. I'm sure they're hungry. And I'll make sure to give them uh, some sugar syrup here when I get them hived in their spot in the apiary there. All right, I'm gonna go grab that bee brush.
Okay, it's been about 10, 15 minutes and the bees are really starting to calm down now. So uh, almost all the bees are off the tree and there's still, you know, a couple handfuls of flying bees around, but the vast majority of them are going in the box now. So this is a good sign. I'm gonna wait about five more minutes and then I'll go ahead and move this box over to uh, the apiary. And then I am out of honey supers. So I'm gonna put a deep, medium super. So I'm gonna put a deep super on top of this colony. I'll put a queen excluder in between. And uh, a colony this size, especially if there's a mated queen in there, easily could fill that deep in the next month. But again, I'm not gonna touch this colony for a month. So you gotta set them and set them up and forget them. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and put a deep super on there and I'll check them around June 9th or June 10th and see how they're doing. They may, they may have that freaking thing stuffed, who knows. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this box moved and I'll show you guys uh, the final location. All right, and it's as easy as that. So we got the bees in their new home here. And there's still a few bees flying around, but for the most part, most of them have gone in. Um, like I said, I put a deep on top with uh, some comb and some empty frames, and we'll see. We'll see if they draw it out and they store honey up there. Um, I mean, I don't really care if they do or don't. Uh, but I'm going to leave this colony alone for a month, like I said. And check on them first week of June, see how things are going. Uh, you know, it's a big colony, so who knows? Who knows? <laughs> if there's a mated queen in there and she takes off, it could be, uh, they could store some honey up in there. So we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I think this is swarm number four, I believe. That's all running together, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, really pleased to get this one because I thought when they were up in that tree, they were a goner. So um, it seems like that Osage Orange tree may be the spot where swarms and my apiary tend to go to, which is perfectly fine with me because it's like the perfect height to put a ladder underneath with the, with the deep box, as I did in this video. Seems like there must be some sort of pheromone or residual scent on that tree. When I was shaking the bees into the colony, I smelled lemongrass. Um, not really sure why. I don't know. Uh, I'll defer to the experts on that one, but there's definitely a lemongrass smell. Uh, and uh, that'd be great if they just go to that spot. So there, maybe there's some sort of odor there or something where swarms are naturally attracted to that. I've, I've heard other beekeepers say like, oh, my swarms always go to this tree or this spot. So obviously there's something going on there where they can smell the previous colony or something and they're attracted to it, so. But no, this colony looks really good. I'm pretty optimistic that they're queen right. No idea if it's a virgin or a mated queen, but I won't know for a month. Uh, so resist the urge to get in there and disrupt them. Um, and uh, there's a better chance for the uh, queen acceptance and uh, successful mating so she can get this colony up and running. So I was gonna put some syrup on this colony, but I changed my mind. We, we are in a heavy, heavy flow right now. So there's you know behind me i'll go ahead and show you real quick the red clover in this field is starting to bloom so all of this is red clover all of that and it's just starting to bloom here so let me see if i can find some right here that smells wonderful So the bees are gonna be all over this shortly, all throughout this entire field, all the way down there through the uh, transmission right away. So. so I'm not gonna feed them. I think there's gonna be plenty of foragers here um, and they're gonna prefer the natural stuff anyway. So I'm just gonna let them have at it. But yeah, that's it. Um, Another swarm in the bag. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.